Uh, we also came up with another version of the pop-up stopper, which is a hair-free pop-up stopper, where we install these hair guards into a conventional pop-up stopper. And all the hair guards are doing is they are isolating the rod and diverting the flow, including the debris, on the sides of it. So again, the hair is not getting compounding, uh, in, accumulated in the rod. So <clears throat> it's our recommendation and, and suggestion uh, like I was speaking yesterday uh, to Jim and to Stephanie, uh, that we need to look at the system as a whole in a holistic view and not as individual components that, okay, let's just go ahead and change the faucet to uh, you know, a gallon or a toilet to a 1.28 or something because ultimately that debris has to go into the infrastructure and, and get cleared out uh, and reach the, reach the treatment facilities wherever necessary. And as a result of reducing these flow rates, we may actually be uh, impacting that part which we are not working on right now. At least we think that way. Uh, the critical system needs to be addressed holistically in order to protect inhabitants and the environment, uh, promote longevity in the structure, and to encourage improvement in the products and building practices. Uh, some of the, the point was made that, hey, you know, can you list attributes or a test criteria? And we think the attributes need to be that uh, the components used need to be better than the components that are being used today or existing components, uh, that they should effectively reduce blockages uh, or you know, allow free flow of uh, debris and, and water. Uh, they should allow for easy inspection. Uh, they should enhance self-maintenance so the consumer doesn't have to uh, necessarily go and uh, buy secondary maintenance products and services uh, to maintain the system. They should eliminate uh, or reduce the use of chemicals. Uh, they improve the quality of installation and uh, structure owners should know how to continually maintain the system. So if, if some standards were to be developed around these kinds of criteria, then unlike water sense or lead where you are targeting just a specific category of devices, you can have a lot more innovation coming in areas which today are not getting that much attention and then and the whole system can come together. Uh, expected outcome of this would be drainage components would support water cons conservation efforts based on reduced flow rate because people will start to build stuff that will support that. And there would be drain management guidelines uh, which would help builders, manufacturers and end user consumers, uh, owners of property or property managers to work around a framework which would actually help, uh, you know, we were talking city councils and cost of water and cost of treatment and all of those issues, which would actually help uh, prevent some of those costs or reduce some of those costs from the standpoint of how the water is treated, how it can be put to reuse, and how quickly and at site, at lower cost, it can be used. So that's uh, kind of uh, a little bit of perspective that we wanted to share, uh, share with you. Uh, I, I just wanted to show you these uh, products that I was talking about uh, for some of you who may not have seen this this is the no clock drain and the way this works is it's self-cleaning all the time with the patented geometry and then if you see a little debris you just go swipe it clean it uses clear ABS material which is much longer lasting compared to a, a polypropylene or a chrome it's much more robust uh, it's uh, recyclable, 100%. Everything in this product is recyclable, and uh, it fits existing plumbing. So it's an easy retrofit solution for a consumer to do it themselves or a contractor to it and eliminate the use of chemicals. How does it flow if it's in that position? Yeah, it flows on the top. It, it has two P traps in one. If you look so it no from the exactly no exactly. You'll always have full flow, you'll always have full sewer seal. And it is a uh, IAPMOS you know, approved uh, UPC uh, compliant product. Uh, and the reason is that the flapper or the wiper as it is called, never imp impedes flow and is never causing a partition in, of any sort. It's, it's there to just clean the device, but the water is always flowing through it. Oh, the flapper has been tested. It's actually, uh, this flapper has been designed from use in downhole oil industry. 
and it's been tested for 150,000 turns and it didn't fail, we just gave up because if someone actually turned it every day of their lives two times a day, it's 300 years. And that should be plenty for most of us, so, so we, should, we just gave up, it won't wear out. It's been tested with the sulfuric acid, all kinds of other stuff. But it's an example of innovation where, uh, you know, for 100 years we've been using P-traps and we've, we've evolved to use chemicals and plungers and snakes and all the different stuff. Uh, but we didn't address this area of the, of the plumbing uh, system. Yes, sir. To piece the structure, how do you affect the seal to... When you put it together, is that a sonic weld or is that... Yeah, this is ultrasonically welded. Ultrasonic? Yeah, that's right. Now, I wanted to show you another cool device, which is when you look at a regular pop-up stopper, uh, the, the only challenge in this pop-up stopper is that you have a rod that goes in to lift the stopper. And essentially what that rod is doing is allowing for uh, for hairs and debris to get clogged. So what we did is, as a first step, we went ahead and eliminated the rod. And we made a, a pop-up drain which doesn't have a rod going through it. So you have an absolute clear flow path. There is no place for hair or debris to get collected. And you can retrofit this. The reason it has multiple magnets is we don't want people to replace their existing pop-ups. All, all they need to do is take your existing pop-up stopper out, change the rod, and go ahead and use this, and you are ready to go. And what, it, if that, what if that rod is um, rest? Or is it uh, no, they'll have to change the rod. We will supply the rod and the stopper. So that's the kit. And essentially, they can use anybody's uh, body. So they don't have to do anything big in their sink setup. All they have to do is open this once, throw the old rod, insert this new rod, and you go ahead and, and it automatically takes, based on the height of the pop-up, it'll take the right magnet and, and it'll just go ahead and latch onto it. So that's an example. There's another example is where we install these hair guards that I was talking about. And if you see this, uh, this has got a slaughter design to try and accommodate different heights of the pop-up bodies. But the idea is that when you install this, you don't need to even change the rod. It's already there, everything is exactly the same. You throw the old pop-up and then go ahead and use this one, install it in, works like a regular pop-up. But when you look at it from the backside, what it is doing is it's isolating the rod and it's got these guards. So the water and debris is flowing on the side and the rod is isolating, isolated by the guards. So essentially, if you look at these, these are not rocket science innovations, but they are simple and they are easy to understand for a consumer and provide them with self-sufficiency and uh, sustainability in the standpoint of not having to use chemicals or not having to lean on a plumber immediately every time they have a little drain clog or, uh, or deal with the, just deal with the frustration. So it's just making their life easier and sustainable. Uh, with little little things, and what what we're trying to emphasize here is that uh, if WaterSense were to expand its scope to say, okay, outside of those uh, categories, any fixture that comprehends these criteria or meets these criteria can be certified uh, over existing, then automatically there would be more innovation coming in this area. Thanks, Sanjay. That was a great appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate your comments or you know darts or. <laughs> <laughs>